What's up, Team No Bull? I'm buckled in, safety first, eyes on the road, hands on the wheel. Uh, what's going on, guys? It's Monday. A quick chat about intensity. So real quick, I jogged a mile this morning at 6 a.m. It was dark, it was cold, so what? I told myself I was gonna do it before I worked out, before I had personals. Felt great. I did about a 10 minute mile. Not saying for good or bad reasons. I did a 10 minute jog. Had a client come in, they ran, they, their goal was an eight minute mile, which if you're a runner, you know an eight or sub eight minute mile is extremely good, very fast. Maybe it's slow to some of it's fast to me. The intensity difference from an eight minute mile to a nine minute mile to a 10 minute mile are two different, three different miles. An eight minute mile and a 10 minute mile are completely two different runs. Not good or bad, just the eight minute mile, it's much more intense, it's much faster pace. Just think of it this way, if you jog at six miles per hour, that's a 10 minute mile. So if you wanna go faster, you gotta run faster if you wanna do it in a shorter amount of time. The same with sprinting or the same with weightlifting. I try to get this into my, my people's heads, my clients' heads, how important intensity is. Not always, some days you should jog slow, some days you should walk and just enjoy nature. Some days you should lift lower weight and higher reps, lower intensity. Other days, a good example, if I say, hey guys, all right, go sprint down the, the parking lot, walk back. Half the people jog down and walk back. The jog and sprint are two different things. They are not both considered running. A jog is a jog, very low intensity, just kind of makes you move a little bit. The sprint, type two muscle fibers, much better for fat burning, even good for bone density buildup in some clients, depending on who you are. Again, not good or bad, but an eight minute mile and a 10 minute mile are two different miles. So you're in the gym, you're doing boot camp tonight, group class, and you bench press for the 13th time this month, and you still do the 40s. Say you're doing 40 pounds for 10 reps. I always, as you know, I encourage you guys, try to jump the weight and decrease the reps. 40 pound dumbbell bench pressing for 10 reps is a lot different than six reps with 50s. It's two different bench presses. We want more intensity. Again, not always, but I want you guys to start thinking. Shorter burst, less reps, more intensity is an ideal way to train. There's less overuse, any itises, even running, like fartlek running is one of my favorite ways to train. And it proves I've done, I've trained fartlek training, which let me explain what that is. It's a weird name. It's interval training. It's you sprint for 10 seconds, you walk for a minute and you jog for 10 seconds. And you just interval. You might sprint a hill, walk a minute. You might jog, sprint, walk, and just mix it up. Distances will vary. But you're mixing and matching the intensities, which is very important. That's vital, especially you don't want your body getting used to something too much. Routine is good, don't get me wrong. But you don't want to get in that rut either. You want to change your intensities up. It's vital to shock your system, if you will. Um, so when I yell at you, is lift heavier every set. That's important. At personals, you do four sets of, say, a lat pull down. Your first set should be your lightest, your perfect form every set. But say you're doing 100 pounds for 15 reps. Your second set, we want about 12 reps for 120 pounds. Your third set, we want 150 pounds for 10 reps, and so on. Intensity should go up, duration and reps should go down. So it's okay to train this way. Back to the fart lick. I've done Broad Street a few times, only trained fart lick. I do long six, eight hour Spartan races, 15 plus miles, only trained fart lick. My sprinting, I'm not fast, but I sprint train, I alter, I interval, and so do my best clients and my best moving athletes. So increase your intensity, decrease your duration. It's not a bad thing. So when I'm yelling at you to, to do a sprint, it's not a jog. You're not jogging, you're sprinting. If I yell at you to go heavier, expect to do less reps. It's a good thing because your intensity is higher. I hope that little spiel makes sense, guys. I'll see you tonight. Peace.